hi everybody so welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna show you how to change the icon of the folders on your mac os so i'm gonna show you how to change from this to this okay so without further ado let's get started Okay guys, so as you can see all of the folders here, I actually uh, renamed the folder into different countries, places that I have been to. But the thing is that uh, if you look at the icons of each folder, each icon has the same color and the same icon. So I want to change it so it's easy for me to recognize which one is Korea, which one is Cambodia, which one is pre-wedding, which one is wedding. So uh, what you need to do is first, of course, you have to go to Google. You need to find the right image that you want. For example, what you want, maybe it is the folder of the wedding. So you need to search wedding. But the thing is that after wedding, I suggest you put PNG. So you have to search for PNG. The reason for this is that a PNG our file has no background. But if you look at all of these pictures, most of them are not really PNG because all of them come with background. See this one? It comes with background. So you need to check carefully whether the picture that you are searching for is PNG. If it is not PNG file, I'm going to show you how to make one. After you find the right picture, what you need to do is to download. So let me show you an example of the images that I have downloaded in PNG file. You need to select on the image first. Okay, just one click, not double click, but uh, one click only, left click. And then I want you to press the space bar on your keyboard. And you can see this, this area. Yeah, you can see it's like uh, the blurry background. So this means there's no background behind this picture. However, if you look at this one, so I left click on it and space, you can see the background is not transparent because you can see this. But if I compare this one with this Malay here, I've just renamed it. You can see the difference. There is no background. The background here is transparent so you need this kind of file to be your icon so after you get uh, the one that you want for example the right png file that you want to use as a folder picture so what you need to do is to double click on the picture so for example the weather here the wedding so i double click on it next is to go to edit and copy okay so now it's time to change the icon so what you need to do is to right click okay right click and then you have to go to this one select get in full on the left here you can see the little uh, folder icon so left click on it uh, you can see so when I left click on it you see the area is covered by a line so what you need to do next is to click edit and paste okay you can see that so the preview of my folder is already changed the little icon here is already changed and this one has also been changed and the preview here is also changed so now I have just changed one folder successfully let me change other folder same procedure you can also make it quicker by pressing command C so I'm pressing it out and then go to the folder this is Seoul Tower so I'm going to hit career get in four select this and command V Boom. okay so as you can see I have just changed the folder icons with all the images that I want so Cambodia as you can see with this Japan okay Korea Malaysia wedding 
the Thailand swimming pre-writing. So next time if I want to edit a photo, I don't have to read the name of the folder. I can just look at the icon and click on the icon very quickly. Okay guys, so that's it. But as I promised, I'm going to show you how you can actually uh, make your own PNG file. So to make your own PNG file, what you need to do is to launch the Adobe Photoshop. It can be in any version. What you need to do next is to click on file new okay create new new document new file and then make sure that uh, you change this one to pixels by default it should be inches but make sure that you select pixels and make sure that the width and the height you fill in 700 multiply by 700 and create boom and then go to for example uh, if I want to have another folder for like blocking video so I'm gonna search for a video camera and select the one that you like for example probably I would choose this so right click and download launch the Adobe Photoshop and drag the downloaded image onto the Photoshop and look at the right hand side here you can see in the layer section you can see there are two different layers the background and the image that i've just dragged into and pay attention to this icon if you see this icon you cannot delete this background so what you need to do is to right click okay do not right click on here but, but right click on any part of this just right click and rasterize layer choose this one you see the little icon has just been disappeared next on the left the tool what you need to select is to choose the magic one tool and to select on the uh, color area that you want to delete so I want to delete the gray background here so just one click on okay just on the left click just one click as you can see all the gray area is being selected and now press delete the background of this image has just been disappeared next to deselect the selection here go to select and deselect or you can actually use command d so deselect it next is very important because i don't want the gray background as well as the, the white background now i'm having the white background so you need to delete the white background as well so to delete this is pretty easy here as you can see this is the eye icon so just left click on it into deselect so i don't want to include the background in this image okay so now it's time to save this image into png what you need to do is to go to file on the left here on the top left and then save as choose the location okay I, I will choose this PNG folder is my folder you can choose any folder that you want to save the file you can select download so it's easy for you to look at it but I have the place here so I just put it in my folder the PNG one that I have just created for this video and then format change from Photoshop to PNG select PNG now save as you can rename your file with cam so video camera so i click save okay this is the png image that i have just made so when i press the spacebar on my keyboard you can see the area here is transparent so now it's time to use this image as the icon so again open it command c to my photo folder my main folder actually create a new folder and I change to vlog and then right click get information click on the left icon on the top and command V boom now I've just got another a folder with my favorite icon let me tell you the reason why do we need png so let me delete this one so in order to delete uh, the icon of this folder I go to go back to get info click on it okay you see the selection on the uh, uh, this icon and press the lid on your keyboard boom let's go back now let me show you why do we need png file why let me tell you the reason okay let me just 
open the file that I have just downloaded. So I press Command C to get in full and Command V. See, it's also changed. But why do we need PNG file? Why do we need to delete the background? Because you see the background here. You see the background here? What if that image has the blue background, has the green background? So it does not look as be beautiful as the PNG file. Let me show you another reason. Let me go to the system preferences, the general, and I want to change it to dark mode. Boom. You see, all the icons with the PNG file looks pretty amazing and you can change whatever you want. But the problem is with the image file, with the background. As I mentioned, if you have color background, what happens? That's not look beautiful. Okay, so let's go back and change to the one I have just created. Okay, go back to my main folder. You can see it looks pretty amazing, right? Let's change back to the white. So whatever the color, whatever the mode that you use, it stay great. Okay, so that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment down below. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please consider doing so because I cannot wait to share with you guys more videos in the future. So I hope to see you guys in the next videos.